Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Josh and you are watching Our History. Today we're going over the life of Simon van der Stel, the first governor of the settlement of the Cape of Good Hope in 1691. So if you enjoy this, please be sure to like and if you're new here, consider smashing that subscribe button. If this isn't your first rodeo and you haven't shown some love to that subscribe, now is your opportunity. Thank you very much for watching. Simon van der Stel, born in October the 14th, 1639, and passed away on June the 24th, 1712, was a prominent figure in the history of the Dutch Cape Colony, as the first governor of the settlement of the Cape of Good Hope in 1691. He played a crucial role in its early development. Besides his administrative duties, van der Stel had a profound interest in botany and made significant contributions to South African viticulture. He established the renowned vineyards of Groot and Klein Constantia, where he produced a famous dessert wine. Today, van der Stel is widely regarded as one of the founders of South African viticulture, leaving a lasting legacy on the industry. Background Simon van der Stel was the son of Ariane or Adrian van der Stel, a high-ranking official of the Dutch East India Company and Maria Leverns. Their marriage took place on the March of 1639 in Batavia. Simon's mother was of mixed race was the daughter of Hendrik Levens and a freed slave, possibly a Malay or Indian origin. In the same year, Adrian was appointed as the first Dutch governor of Mauritius, replacing Peter de Hoijer. De Hoijer had been sent by the Dutch East India Company in 1638 with a small group of men and various livestock and poultry to establish a refreshment station for the company. Simon was born at sea during his father's journey to his new posting on the island. He spent his early years on the island as his father served as governor. However, his father's governorship ended in 1645 and the family moved to Dutch Kalon. Tragically, his father was murdered by the troops of Raja Sinha II of Kandy in 1646 and his mother passed away in 1651. Simon was sent to Batavia, the capital of the Dutch East Indies. This is where he remained until reaching adulthood at the age of 20, gaining valuable experiences in the region. Career Simon, after his travels, arrived in the United Provinces and formed a close relationship with Willem VI, a prosperous cloth merchant. In 1663, Simon married Willem's daughter, Johanna Jacoba VI, and the couple went on to have six children. It is worth noting that Johanna Jacoba was not only the daughter of a wealthy cloth dealer, but also the niece of Tymon and Jacob J. Hinlopen, who were the prominent figures in the Dust Each India Company and the Nuerste Company. The Hinlopens were also well known as avid art collectors. This familial connection likely had a significant influence on Simon's social and professional circles during this period. In 1679, Simon van der Stel was appointed as the commander of the Dutch East India's company's colony at the Cape of Good Hope. This appointment was facilitated by his relative Johan Heidekoper van Marsieven, who held significant influence as a mayor and amateur botanist. Prior to this role, Simon had been involved in winemaking in Meiderberg. Interestingly, upon his departure from the colony, Simon entrusted the vineyards to Hendrik van Rieder, a renowned botanist and former governor of the Malabar region. This demonstrates Simon's commitment to promoting both the economic and scientific development of the region during his tenure at the Cape of Good Hope. Van der Stel had a strained relationship with his wife, Johanna Jacoba van der Stel. Due to their unhappy marriage, Johanna's sister Cornelia accompanied Accompanied her husband to the Cape. Unfortunately, van der Stel never saw his wife again, but he remained devoted to her and regularly sent her financial support. In order to furnish the governor's residence at Groote Constantia, Johanna Jacoba sent various items, including artworks. Among these was the Finnish The Fisherman, an unfinished painting by Simmer de Vlieger. Interestingly, this painting was one of the 13 works by de Vlieger purchased by Jan van der Kappele. In 1685, van der Stel established established Klein Constantia and had a keen interest in the tropical medicine and botany which he shared with Hendrik van Rieder to ensure a monopoly on certain valuable trees like cinnamon, cloves and camphor, particularly in the recent acquired Suriname or Dutch colony. These trees were deliberately destroyed by the ambitious Richtloof van Groen's son. Van der Stel later left his farm in 1685-1686 to join an expedition to the Copper Mountains at Springbok where he conducted various scientific observations. In 1691, the VOC or 
the Dutch East India Company, replaced the position of commander with governor and van der Stel was promoted to this role. His residence, Groot Constantia, was adorned with fine paintings including the fisherman, which was later auctioned in 1716 during the sale of van der Stel's estate. Van der Stel had four sons who had all various roles and experiences in South Africa. William Adrian, previously a magistrate in Amsterdam, succeeded his father as the governor of the Cape. France, known as de Jonker, became a farmer in the Cape. Adrian went on to become the governor of Amsterdam. Boina from 1706 to 1720. Unfortunately, Cornelis was among the 352 individuals who were shipwrecked on the Riddersgap van Holland in 1694. In an effort to find survivors, an expedition led by Willem van der Flamming was sent to search the islands in the Indian Ocean and the coast of Western Australia. After retiring in 1699, Simon van der Stel's son, Willem Adrian van der Stel, succeeded him. Simon then focused his efforts on his wine estates, famously known as Constantia. Unfortunately, Simon van der Stel passed away in 1712. In March 1714, Francois Valentin had the opportunity to visit Simon's son, Franz. Following Simon's death, his estate was sold off in separate parts, including Berfli, in 1716. The auction itself lasted four days and witnessed a significant turnout of interested buyers. Legacy Simon van der Stel, a Dutch colonial administrator, was the influential figure behind the establishment of Stellenbosch in 1679. This historic town in South Africa was named in his honor. Van der Stel's legacy also extended to Simonstown, located south of Cape Town, which derived its name from him. Additionally, the Simonsberg Mountain was named after him as it overlooks Stellenbosch. In recognition of his contributions, the South African Navy named one of its early ships SAS Simon van der Stel in 1952. These namesakes serve as a lasting tribute to van der Stel's significant role in the colonial history of South Africa. If you enjoy this channel and you would like to support more content like this, because all contributions are greatly appreciated, please check out the Patreon link in the description below.